All right, thanks so much. Well, scientists say we could be endangering our health by repeatedly reusing containers that are meant to be used one time only. ABC's Allison Kosick has the story. Thinking of refilling that plastic water bottle you bought from the convenience store or reusing the takeout container from last night's dinner? Researchers say you may want to think twice. These single-use plastics, if they're used over and over and over again, the risk of leaching out certain chemicals and exposure to microplastics increases as you use these products, which are intended to only be used one time. We've seen the recent headlines. The Washington Post declaring reusing plastic water bottles and to-go containers, scientists say that's a bad idea. And The Atlantic saying, throw out your black plastic spatula. They cite various studies that suggest harmful chemicals, including carcinogens and plastic bits, are leaching into your food. Studies suggest even washing sturdier, reusable plastic containers on the hot cycle in the dishwasher could be hazardous. But experts warn this research is only preliminary. Me personally, I have not thrown out every plastic item in the house. You do what you can. And I'm not telling everyone in America to throw out every single plastic item in their house either. I do want to emphasize that it is nearly impossible to get away from microplastics. It is in our soil. It is in the air. It's in clothing fibers. It's manufactured in so many different things, food casings. It really is everywhere. The big takeaway amid all this concern? Experts say try to limit how much plastic you use by using glass containers instead and drinking from metal straws instead of plastic. The research that is still developing in the area of plastics and the safety of microplastics is still ongoing. So right now, experts are recommending to limit plastic use where you can and use things as directed. So if something is directed to be a single use product, it should be used that way. At the same time, global talks about how to reduce plastic pollution just collapsed overnight. Representatives from 170 countries, including the U.S., couldn't agree on how to dial back plastic production. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York.